Boxing has been practiced since before the time of ancient Greece and the original Olympics. It's been applied to both general physical conditioning and striking performance training. It has grown in popularity as a kind of physical activity. A typical boxing workout consists of hitting drills on tools like heavy bags, speed bags, and focus mitts, as well as movement and footwork drills to avoid punches. Even virtual boxing is another option available to users of gaming systems equipped with movement sensors. But after a high-intense training, you think you know all. You get into a ring with someone and get defeated. Your errors are the only things holding you back in both the gym and the arena. I'll be talking about the common mistakes you make when you box. You will be able to identify the ones you are guilty of and how you can fix them. Watch the entire video. You will benefit a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you benefit from the video. Let's go. 1. Per stance. May look like the way you position yourself doesn't really matter. But sorry to burst your balloon. Incorrect foot positioning and balance can actually compromise your stability and power. Doesn't matter how heavy you are, if you don't have a proper stance you will be knocked of easily. The majority of boxing coaches advise standing with your feet shoulder width apart, your knees slightly bent, and your chest slightly tilted towards your opponent. Your right hand should rest at your chin, and your left hand should be in front of your face if you are in an orthodox position. Changing from this position limits your capacity to attack your opponent and facilitates their punching power. 2. Telegraphing punches. The term, telegraphing punches, describes the unintentional signaling of an incoming strike through body movements or positioning before it's actually thrown. This error eliminates the element of surprise and gives opponents valuable milliseconds to successfully anticipate, avoid, or counterattack. Pulling the shoulder back or tensing muscles before a blow are common examples of telegraphing, which basically broadcasts the intention. Telegraphing not only reduces the likelihood that the blow will land, but it also puts you at risk of being hit by counterattacks. Boxers who want to be great must learn how to hide their movements and deliver each punch as effectively and unpredictably as possible. 3. Neglecting defense. Focusing solely on offense is another factor that leaves you really open and you will be very vulnerable to counterattacks. Make sure to use the same amount of energy you use to train on offense to train on your defense. It is an important aspect which a lot of people neglect during training. 4. Overextending punches. Extending your punches too far can compromise balance and leave you open for counters. Punches that are overextended uses a lot of power. So after punching you will lose a lot of energy. Also, unnecessary stress on your joints and muscles, especially the arm and shoulder, could likely increase the risk of you damaging your joints. So make sure to concentrate on maintaining right technique. Making sure that every blow is thrown with control and precision within their ideal range, and optimizing both defensive preparedness and power in order to avoid extending strikes. 5. Ignoring footwork. Many people are guilty to this. Footwork during boxing is its foundation. It provides the necessary balance, mobility, and positioning to effectively execute punches and defend against incoming attacks. Neglecting proper footwork diminishes a boxer's ability to maintain distance, create angles, and swiftly move in and out of range. This can result in being caught off balance, leaving openings for your opponents to exploit or failing to capitalize on opportunities to land clean shots. Prioritize footwork drills and techniques, honing their agility, speed, and coordination to maneuver effectively in the ring and gain a strategic advantage over their adversaries. 6. Lack of head movement. Your head confuses your opponent. Failing to move the head can result in you taking unnecessary punches. Move your head during training, at a point you will get used to it. 7. Failure to vary attacks. Predictable patterns make it easier for opponents to defend against punches. Train on your attacks. There are several boxing attacks like the jab, cross, hook, uppercut. If you want to know more about different boxing attacks, let us know in the comments section. 8. Rushing combinations. Yes, the pressure is high and you think very fast in the ring, but throwing punches too quickly without a proper setup or technique can reduce your effectiveness in the ring. Make sure to prepare and watch your opponent closely before throwing a strike. 9. Overlooking recovery. Inadequate rest and recovery can increase the risk of injury and impede progress. Also make sure to warm up properly. Exercises like jump rope and running could be part of your everyday regimen so you would last longer. Do you get tired easily? We got a video on the best exercise you could do to increase your endurance. These mistakes can be corrected with proper training, practice, and attention to detail under the guidance of a qualified coach. Good luck on your boxing. I hope you benefited. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. We got other videos for you as related to boxing. Choose the left or right video and enjoy.